NVIDIA and Azure supercomputer in the cloud? Well, you know, this was supercompute week. Um, and, you know, we, we talked a lot about NVIDIA and earnings, but, you know, it never hurts in this particular area, the area Satya Nadella to, to announce a partnership. We watched multiples of these at Snapdragon Summit this week. You know, the company is, is basically looking as Microsoft is set to be the first public cloud that's going to take the entire NVIDIA stack uh, of a GPU network and AI software to offer a supercomputing instance. Uh, uh, you know, it, to me, Pat, it's pretty early days. I mean, I'm, you know, just kind of reading about this because we weren't there. I wasn't on this announcement, but it seems to me that this is a, a you know, it's a big win for NVIDIA to be on Azure's platform and to get the full buy-in across the, the stack. And to me, for Microsoft, this is tapping into a powerful combination and doing a little bit like what we've seen with Quantum. You know, these kinds of workloads are gonna be migrated into the public cloud to make them democratized and make them more accessible to people. And there's not a name that, you know, if you look at the ML perf results and some of the data that's come out, NVIDIA has clearly been leading for quite some time. And I think Microsoft's looking for ways to diversify, bring more data and workloads into the Azure ecosystem. And this is an interesting partnership. And, you know, since we only have a couple of minutes, I'm not going to, you know, say too much more because I haven't had a chance to fully dive into it, Pat. But, uh, you know, I think that, that, you know, this is a timely partnership. It's a great way for, you know, a, uh, Azure to go out and sell more to this high performance computing ecosystem and scale up that particular business. And it's good for NVIDIA to continue to lean in to this market, which is going to be much more robust right now in this current ecosystem than some of the more consumer led parts of its, its business. So early days, don't have a ton yet to add on this one, going to spend some time. But uh, it, I, I think this is going to be the way we're going to see a lot of these kinds of high performance workloads adopted in the future is going to be through um, instances launched on public cloud. Yeah, and if you uh, want to see more about Supercomputing 22, uh, we shot some 6.5 videos uh, with Dell and also check out some stuff from uh, HPE uh, as uh, as well. Uh, you know, Daniel, um, there are companies like Grok and even uh, Habana, and we'll see with Trainium coming up here at AWS reInvent that I do believe have a, have a uh, potential here. And I think the market does need more competition, particularly on the training side, really it has become a, a competition between software ecosystems. Now year after year, I'm seeing the cloud guys either try to disintegrate um, or dis, uh, you know, find a disintermediation layer between it and NVIDIA or find ways to leverage uh, CUDA uh, using other people's hardware like AMDs, but it is a fascinating spot and it is completely amazing how long um, NVIDIA has been in the top spot. 